So we'll go to multiple choice question for chapter 16 on communication. Now read, please. Okay, number one, which of the following is an example of external communication? External, okay. Okay, sending a customer information about a special offer, a depart. A, a department departmental staff, staff meeting. Staff meeting, a training session for a new recruit, a presentation by the chairman with uh, to the senior management, management team. So which one is external here? External communication, please. Um, B. No. Oh. B. They said departmental staff. That is within the organization. Training session of new for a new recruit. That is still within the organization. Presentation of, by the chairman to the senior management team. These it's are still also. within the organization. So the answer is A, customer information. Oh. It's external. Customers are not part of your employees. They are not part of the organization. Oh. I got you. Yeah, yeah. So they said external communication is... Uh, these are information that are passed outside the business, right? Mm. From outside the business. So yeah. customers are out of the business. Mm. Question two. Okay, okay. So I it's A. It. Question one is okay. A. Okay, what should the following is a disadvantage of face to face communication? Face to face, yeah. Okay, A. It takes too much time. No. B. It fails to encourage corporations. No. C. Negative body language may create a barrier. It's may a. create a barrier. C. It's C. Only a D now, only a minority of yeah, staff yeah. are able to Credit use this. Body language, someone can feel like, uh, you know. Is interested or not interested. Mm. So the answer is C. Yeah. Question three. Which the following is an example of upward uh, communication? Upward communication, okay. okay. The board of directors addressing their shareholders, the board of directors addressing all employees, the. <clears throat> A supervisor asking an operative if they can work over time. A purchasing officer teaching a new recruit how to complete a requisition, requisition form. So which one is upward communication? It's A. A, great. A. Because shareholders are the first and the directors are there. Yeah, because the shareholders, the directors work for the shareholders. Yeah. Great. The shareholders go and the owners the first, the shareholders like this and directors like this. Great, you got that. Question four. Yeah. I know shareholders are really important to the business. Definitely. Question four. Yeah, they are the investors anyway. Especially. Question four. Number four. Which of the following is most likely to require writing communication? communication? A job interview. Asking a colleague for a very urgently needed piece of information, inviting a, a job application for an interview. Applicant for an interview. And informing staff of an end of month party. So, which one requires written communication? Mm. Now, first of all, job interview is already, is no need write, written communication. It's face to face, so it makes no sense. Inviting a job application. Inviting a job applicant. For you know who a job applicant is? What is it? Always ask question, please. Someone that seeks for employment, you need a job. So I'm a, I'm a, if I need a job in your company, I'm an applicant. Mm. Okay. Asking a colleague for a need a job. So which one, which of the following is most likely to require written communication? A. No. Informing staff of an end of month party. That's a, you can do that through email. Ah. Oh. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Inviting a job applicant for an interview. There you can write. The answer is B. You write there for a job mm. interview. A job interview doesn't need a written communication. It's question. It's face to face. Mm. Asking a colleague for a very urgent need piece, needed piece of information. You can send a message. So, so the answer easy. is B. Yeah. That ends chapter 16 communication. It's D, right? B. B. Yeah, B. Is it clear? Mm.